Amen. It's the ISO God Sensei, the greatest nigga on 2K in existence. And listen up, man. I got some more 2K23 news from y'all, my boy. This uh, this guy Mike Wang is exposing 2K. And also, I talked to some more people who played the game, man. Made the game, bro. I know a lot of things, man. So y'all are gonna want to watch this video in full. Make sure y'all like the goddamn video. It helps the vid a lot. So, firstly, we got a Devin Booker mocap, man. Let's have a look. See at this, man. Okay, Devin Booker. Let's see if we can we can see anything. Is that Mike Wayne? Uh oh, fading. Ooh, bro, if that's in the game where you could just green that whole crazy, y'all really fans low key. Like y'all ain't out here uh, testing the mocap. Yes. Ooh, fading. <laughs> Ooh, fading. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, Agent 3's. Agent 3's OP confirmed. Hey, man, I heard niggas can still fade on 23. That is just not as OP, man. Uh, that's what niggas told me. Oh. <laughs> okay. Show me some. I think I could beat Devin Booker one on one. What, what about y'all? Y'all think y'all could beat Devin Booker one on one? I drop. I drop Devin Booker off. Ooh, part two. We gonna have to check out part one. Hold the on. Gameplay enhancements in 2K23. For shooting this year, we wanted a more authentic shooting model that authentic. captures the essence of a great NBA shooter's capability. Okay. The first major change is the addition of shot attributes, including shot speed release height, uh -huh. defensive immunity, and timing impact. There uh -huh. are also five new shot meters to choose from with 50. I heard that people had to use the meter to uh, hit their shots. And they, they, they hit more greens with the meter. But I don't, I don't know how true that is, man. But I definitely heard that shooting is way harder. It's closer to 2K21 current gen. It's not like the easiest shooting 2K ever, 2K22. And hey, man, we, we, we gonna see. Y'all let me know how y'all feel about that. 15 more that can be unlocked through seasons this year. For the floor game. Does that mean 15 seasons? Leak, 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 leak. Game. On ball defensive movement and body ups received a major refresh with the introduction mm -hmm. of a new shading system. The shading system. They saying, so what I heard, you know, I had a nice, nice, some nice talks, man. I heard that there's a lot of defense in the game. They might be too OP. You y'all let me give you an example. Y'all know for instance, say you uh you know comp players, if y'all ever see the comp players, say they go to the to the goddamn corner, right? Like they go to the corner and then they go to the top of the key type stuff. If someone goes to the corner, they're saying if you stop, you know how you're over top of him, stopping him from going to the wing, right? If you're over top of him and you're right there, he's not gonna be able to go through you. Like, you're literally going to make him fumble the ball. You're going to rip him. He's saying bump steals is even more OD. Um, You're going to affect his stamina, all types of stuff. He going to have to find another way to adjust. So, say, for instance, y'all know when people be left, right, and stuff. They saying, you just sit on one side, you predict it, there's a penalty, my boy. Hey, <laughs> that's what they saying. They're saying it's a lot slower, and um, yeah, man, sounded kind of ass, but I just wish these niggas would buff defense without destroying the offense. Defense needs a major buff, though. But they, 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 they saying they got it, man. Helps more clearly reward great defenders who can anticipate where the ball handler is attacking. Lastly, uh. our new player builder is more polished than ever before. It ensures that all builds, regardless of size or specialty, are fun and balanced. The most impactful change when it comes to building players is in the form of a new badge system for new gen. This year, we're moving to a tiered badge uh -huh. system where there are 16 badges per yep. attribute category, eight in tier one. Hey, they say for the build system, if y'all didn't know, the build system is gonna be the same for uh, current gen and next gen, and it's gonna be very limited, 19-esque. You know, it's gonna be similar to the uh, 2K22 builder, but you're gonna get a lot less badges. Y'all know how everyone can have five Hall of Fame, seven, all that? Not anymore. You're gonna have a couple, if that. <laughs> you know, everything's gonna be a lot more nerfed. 
all the badges you get for certain builds is going to be a lot less and everything's supposed to be a lot less overpowered um i like this bro i believe hall of fame badges ruin 2k uh and just being able to have all these badges these takeovers and all this stuff just made the game way too easy but um yeah but i also don't like that role player shit bro you know I'm not saying I want demigods, but I, I, I like the uh, superstars, bro. You know, that's real ball. But I mean, this is probably better for me. <laughs> more content, more builds. So I don't even know why I'm talking about it. I'm, I'm on some Robin Hood shit. I'm trying to save you niggas, but you niggas is stupid. So it don't matter. Fuck you, nigga. Get robbed, bitch. Nah. Four in tier two <laughs> and four in tier three with a ton of new badges. Hey, it's Mike Wang, gameplay director okay. for NBA. What you talking about part one, nigga? What you talking hey, it's about? Mike Wang, gameplay director for NBA 2K. Today part we're one. The gameplay enhancements in Pussy 2K23. Nigga. This year we've really expanded the tools for attacking the basket, including uh -huh. improved dunk controls. We've added a brand new feature uh -huh. that allows you to control when and how you hang on the rim. Rim hangs are one of the most fun things to do in the city, but watch how they saying the rim hangs are so fun, but why they got some like lame ass lazy rim hang with Xeon right here? I don't I don't really I don't like this shit. They should have showed some cooler ones. But, um, yeah, I do think that's a nice feature. Top protects if you hang too long in the NBA. For slashers who want to finish with a little more finesse, we've added an all-new set of quick scoop layups that are great for small guards. And for bigger, stronger players, see. utilize your power to plow your... Hey, I heard that paint defense is buffed. 2K19-esque. You know, um, even though, like, that game was garbage, I'm hearing that, you know, you don't have to jump to get contested anymore. You can just have your hands up. That's what I'm hearing. Even though all the stuff they saying about the uh, paint D and what you heard from Shakedown and stuff, whatever Shake played, that was supposedly an early ass build. That wasn't like more up to date shit. Shooting's supposed to be hard. Y'all know Shake said that shit was easy. They said paint defense was easy. Everything was going in, all the layups. And now they saying that shit is impenetrable. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Your way through the lane. I don't know. May maybe niggas is giving me misinformation, nigga, but I don't know, bruh. With new contact layup enhancements. In addition, we've added several new layup packages for both new gen and current gen, including Devin Booker, okay. Allen Iverson, John Morant. Yeah, I heard there's a bunch of new layups that's supposed to do something. MJ got completely rehauled and not just some circus bullshit and more. As for dribbling, we've introduced a new enhancement called attacking size ups. The new attacking size ups provide a lot more side to side movement, allowing you to bait your defender one way and then Ooh, attack the right other. Back. Another new lee, ball lee, handling lee. feature to prevent over dribbling is the concept of a you stupid bitch. I don't give a fuck about this adrenaline shit. I hate you niggas for what you've done to dribbling and the speed of the game. I don't fuck with it. And I'm, I'm gonna tell you something simple like this, man. There's people who have kids, drink beers, bad eating habits, and can still go to the gym and run multiple games to 15 without ever getting tired, my nigga. But in a video game, a few dribble moves result in you having asthma. We're talking about a world-class athlete whose stamina is 30 times better than the average man at 24 hour fitness why would they be tired at any point to 21 can understand a game to 5v5 but 21 come on bro i know a lot of y'all aren't too good at the game but <laughs> you're losing it bro you're losing it i know why you don't want it i know it's annoying but you gotta be realistic my boy this slow, non-explosive stuff is not real basketball, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not, bro. I'm sorry, dog. We're talking about niggas on steroids and PEDs. Moving in molasses, boy. What? We serious? Asthma? Steroids? You know, performance enhancing drugs, that's what PEDs are. Do y'all know there's steroids out there that make you have more, you know, stamina? <laughs> make you not get tired? Y'all know that shit? Like, marathon runners, they be on all sorts of shit. 
and they don't got no physique. There's different type of steroids, my boy, but y'all trying to say niggas is getting asthma when little kids can go crazy in games of 21 and never get tired. Y'all are losing it, bro. The older 2Ks where there's no stamina, that's realistic. But, I mean, I guess, like, y'all are, like, crazy, bro. <laughs> All they got to do is buff defense, man. <laughs> but, hey, it, it's too late. <laughs> y'all got it. You won! You won! <laughs> Adrenaline boosts. Boosts are consumed every time you perform a hard go. Look at this shit. Launch. <laughs> hey, World-class athlete just lost all his stamina in two seconds of dribbles, bro. I swear, it's like this community. Y'all are crazy, bro. I don't know what's wrong with you. <laughs> bro, I, I don't belong to this planet. Like, bro, look at this shit. This nigga here said remove contact dunks from P for PGs. 25 likes. What? <laughs> what? This is what I'm talking about, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't get it. This nigga says, D Rose says otherwise. Then this nigga said, yeah, and look what happened to him. We need to add injuries to the park, bro. What? <laughs> what is niggas talking about, bro? Like, bro, this is hilarious, bro. Like, you got Jamorian, Lillard. West, bro, you know, other PGs, bro, that, that can dunk, bro. <laughs> that nigga said, <laughs> that nigga said, <laughs> if you're able to get contact dunks, you're going to eventually get injured. <laughs> bro, what? <laughs> yeah, oh, my God, bro. So, Mike Wayne tweets out a poll, okay? Keep in mind, he did the at, so it didn't reach his full follower base and said are you going to play current gen new gen or both this is shocking this is shocking as shit this shit is new gen and both like there's no way so many people have a, a next gen console bro i wish this like really happens but y'all let me know man i'm gonna be playing both personally for uh, the two, let me know if y'all are going to play current gen, new gen, or both. Very important down below. Claymore is a floor space and badge. So if y'all didn't know, Mismatch Expert was moved into playmaking and helps smaller ball handlers blow by taller defenders. I'm going to give you exclusive with this badge, bro. Um, And apparently it's being reworked, man. Apparently any switch, if, if it's the, the third person on the other team, like say 3v3 or whatever, if it's the last nigga, like 2v2 says to the second nigga, you will activate mismatch instantly and just fry his shit. Like he won't be able to guard you at all. Um, it's kind of broke to where even if it's a PG type shit for the third position, they're gonna view it as a mismatch. But um, I guess they're probably trying to do it by like some heights or some shit. But uh. And also, it's like extremely overpowered. They're thinking about, you know, nerfing it. And apparently, there's a lot of ankle breakers in the game, man. Since the game's so slow, I, I believe, um, I think this is the perfect balance for 2Ks. If the game's slower and stuff, it should have a lot of ankle breakers. And if the game's super fast, then it should have little ankle breakers, you know? Um, yeah. Wait, wait. Let me, let me, let me switch it. If the game is super slow with low stamina, should have a lot of ankle breakers. If the game's super fast and you can have high amounts of stamina, it should have low amounts of ankle breakers. I think that's the perfect balance for the 2Ks. Um, and yeah, man, when they get that wrong, the game usually be a uh, super ass. So apparently you'll never get the dunk meter with the shot button anymore. Apparently, all badges that are returning have been retuned and reworked in some way. If anything was OP, it's it, it might not be the same, man. And some of the weaker badges got buffed. So the round meter is still here uh, for alley-oops, but it's bigger and easier to read. Okay, so the dunk meter will be in current gen, but the rim hanging, all that little physic bullshit is only in next gen. <laughs> 
That's that next gen experience, man. <laughs> uh, I don't really understand this double throw shit. It's kind of confusing to me. I need to ask niggas about that shit. I forgot. Um, if y'all got it down, talk to me about it down in the comments, man. So this guy's saying he can't make layups. Why the fuck can't this nigga hit layups? What the hell? Okay, he's saying layup timing takes skill, and if you master it, you can make some crazy stuff. And he's saying, and you won't blow wide open bunnies anymore if your timing is bad. So if it's wide open, you're not going to miss it, apparently. I don't know how they fix this, but um, hey. Bro, listen to this shit. <laughs> Yo, I be feeling like they be working harder. Yo, I think this was one of the hardest years for AI. Like, like they like became more like OP type shit than like previous years. Listen to what they say. The AI team worked hard on improving AI defensive rotations, transitions, and pick and roll defense, to name a few. He's saying there's more. They also adjust dynamically to scheme against high scores. What the fuck? On-ball defenders are less physic and defend in a more human way. <sighs> hey, man. <laughs> that, that, that wreck gonna be looking crazy, huh? Really hope you guys did locks justice for 2K. Hey. He says, trust me. Locks are solid. Has he ever said this? I, and I also talked to someone. They saying the locks are OP. 2K19, 610 type shit. No, but they, I don't think they going to be 610. Uh, they, ain't no way. Said maybe even a little too strong right now. We're still fine tuning and we'll make sure we balance the builds as best we can. So apparently the dribble system is close to 22. So when you play this shit... Um, I also talked to other people that played the game. They're saying it's kind of similar, but there's just new shit, just like Mike Wang said right here, man. I don't know how y'all feel about that. More skill. Man, I I'm hearing a lot that all the locks that tried out PG, switched to PG, all the centers, all the stretch bigs that are now playing PG and shit, they're going to go back to the rightful positions and now being a PG is going to take some immeasurable amounts of skill. I don't know, man. Like back in 19 where niggas wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't as much as it started to happen in probably 19 or 18. But it, every year it kept picking up even more. Mike Wang saying it might be a little hard to hit with a 73 ball. Iggy Mo doesn't like this, man. He doesn't want his poppers to be patched. Nobody really likes this. If you go read the comments, man, they don't like that 2K21 shooting. <laughs> oh, shit. So if y'all didn't know, in this 2K, everyone has built in Showtime. If y'all don't remember that badge, it's probably one of the most broken badges ever to be introduced in 2k if you just did a flashy dunk your whole team's takeover will just boost up right and you could get team takeover uh pretty fast man so now when you do these flashy dunks these uh back scratchers windmills tomahawks and other flashy shits you're not gonna get blocked apparently like blocking's ass and back scratchers are finally gonna be usable in this fucking game and you know he's saying this guy says so how every time i go up with the back scratcher the shit gets blocked and he says fix you're not gonna get blocked but apparently i'm hearing defense is buffed i'm not getting it so when you make your custom shot so when you go and make a custom shot it's gonna generate attributes and shot rating requirements based on the components you use to build the shot. So I guess you can go make a jump shot. It's gonna be like, hey, you could use it or not. I don't know, some shit like that. And apparently bullet passer is gone. I, I repeat, bro. Do not make a build with low pass ratings, man. That's gonna be a new bullet passer. Make sure you have bullet passer if you're not, well, man, not bullet passer. Make sure you have a lot of pass accuracy 
if you're not going to be playing 1v1s, bro. I don't care if you think you don't need it, you play lock, bro. Make it easier on your team. They saying this defense shit is crazy. Niggas going to be moving slower. They might need to pass more, my boy. They might need to reset the shit more, my boy. So, <laughs> upgrade your shit. Look at this nigga. Remove guards from the game. 447 likes. What the fuck? Why are niggas liking this? Boy, fuck this video. Fuck, <laughs> fuck this community. What the fuck? Bro, it should be 447 quote tweets. Nigga, what is y'all doing? But hey, hey, here we go again. Yeah. Here we go again. People talking this, but when this hit the fan, everything I'm at made me. Now break it down. Yo, off the top of the dome, dome.